Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Danilo Cuellar from the Non-Aggression Parenting Podcast, out here enjoying the beautiful nature once again, the spontaneous order that surrounds us all. I have a seven-year-old son and a five-year-old daughter, and I was out with them shopping. My daughter wanted to buy something that my wife had said no to buying and uh, she started crying and I said I'm sorry mommy doesn't want us to buy that and she said but mommy is not the boss of us nobody is the boss of anyone to which my seven-year-old son responded Serena mommy is not the boss of everyone but mommy is the boss of us I thought that illustrated uh, a great idea that my kids anyway understand the ideas of anarchism without me even even telling them or explaining what anarchism or volunteerism is they understand it by me acting and interacting with people that they meet and the way I treat them the way I talk to them the way I raise them to be independent free thinkers so she understands the ideas of self-ownership and that no one has the moral right to rule over another person and my son understands that as well but he also understands that temporarily my wife would be not the boss but the parental figure the guides the advisors that's how I view our role that of me and my wife as people who my kids would seek counsel seek advice from in times of need in times of confusion we must be the firm we must be the firm staff in the sand that they can come to with questions that they can trust with their fears that is my goal with my parenting I hope that my kids will never be afraid to share their secrets with me. They'll never be afraid to run to me for help, for advisement. So it's so important to instill these ideas of self-ownership, of anarchism, of volunteerism in young children. That is when their worldview is transforming, is taking shape. That is when it will affect the rest of their lives. I do not fear anyone deceiving my children by saying they must submit to them. I can't see that. I try to respect their wishes. I try to listen to their concerns and offer my explanations wherever possible. I try to make them feel that their thoughts and words are valid, are worthy of attention and consideration. To me, that is what being a peaceful parent is, the essence of volunteerism and individualism. <clears throat> In the words of Charlie Chaplin, men acting as a brutish herd form the headless beast, but men acting as individuals become creative geniuses. We must always inspire people to act as individuals, to act upon their desires, their dreams, their aspirations, and to raise their children to do so. One of my favorite quotes by Frederick Douglass is, it is easier to raise strong men <clears throat> than to repair broken children. Parenting is one of the most important jobs that there is. We are formulating the future. We are molding the world of tomorrow. Our children will become the inhabitants of that world. And what would you like that world to look like? What kind of values and ideals would you like to see propagated in that world? The answer to that question lies in how you should raise your children. Raise them to be loving, kind, compassionate, gentle, peaceful human beings. Because that is a sustainable future. That is a future of prosperity, of thriving, of success. That is a future that we will all be proud of. I want to lay the foundation of a brighter future for my children. I believe that is the, the enduring job of every parent, is to leave this world a little bit more beautiful, a little bit more wondrous and magnificent, and a little bit more peaceful and loved. That is our job as parents. Raise your kids well. Raise your kids to be beautiful. Posterity will look kindly upon you for doing so. Thank you for listening. This is Danilo Cuellar from the Non-Aggression Parenting Podcast. Enjoy the beautiful nature.
Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peaceful anarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.